I'm going to be painting this tiny little bee here. So I start off with some gamboge and I just do, I, I would hesitate to call it a wash at this size because there isn't really enough surface to legitimately call it that nearly black but that's perfect for this because I want it to have a, a slightly warmer tone to it it's not completely black black and the technique that I'm using to apply this now is called dry brush it's where the bristles are nearly dry on your on your brush point uh, and sometimes even I will sort of wipe away any excess liquid before I paint. So, you know, I have a napkin nearby and I just go like that. And it sort of spreads your brush hairs a little bit more. It's a really good technique for doing shading on very detailed things or, in this case, fuzzy little bumblebee butts. And darkening that through these stripes as well. Again, using dry brush technique because this gives it more of that fuzzy texture. And just a little bit of dry brush with that. Along the upper edges of the stripes. And I'm just running the, my brush along the edges as well to soften everything because I want this sort of fuzzy look. Even though my background is just going to be plain white on this, since this is a more more of a botanical type of approach to illustration. Okay. And I'm following the contour of this, of the body, of the shape that I'm, I'm doing with the dry brush. I mean, it's a subtle thing in in the final, but it is it is something that you notice when you when you look closely at the texture, and and when you're painting something this small, then yeah, people are going to be looking closely. <laughs> Need a little bit more liquid on the brush sometimes if it gets a little bit too dry. It's a it's a thin line you have to walk between dry brush and a too dry brush. Adding more to these shadows here. I'm sort of shaping these tiny little bits of pollen on his legs. And then all that's left is the wings, which are just sort of a little bit of a blur. They're mostly translucent, so there's not much that I need to do to them. Just add a little bit of defining darkened shadows to them. And because they're translucent, you would see tiny little bits of what's going on underneath. Those are the places that are going to be darkened. And there we go. A little bee.